Hello to everybody. My name is Simon Hyatt. I'm here with Mr. Felemy Green, the head of Innovation Pipeline at ANZN Bank. Uh, Felemy, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for Just me. like to ask you a few questions sure. about the um, the award. Congratulations on winning it, and um, we can get started with a few questions there. Felemy, once again, congratulations on on winning the award, the Innovation and Mobile Banking Award. Congratulations on that. If there was one fundamental reason that led to ANZ winning this award and thereby trumping your competitors, uh, what do you think that that would be? Uh, I'd have to say, <clears throat> I mean, there are many elements to it, but probably the overriding one was, is 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 one of a customer centric focus. Um, this was something that um, you know we really took to a new level in terms of the design of this particular product, um, and uh, and I would say in addition a degree of rigor around how we execute it. Right? I mean, there's lots of um, products out there, and you know if you think back to maybe cars in the 1980s. <clears throat> beautifully designed but poorly executed and they fall apart or they cost you a lot to run. Execution was important as well so, so I'd say customer centric design and then um, a lot of focus on rigorous execution. And implementation. Yeah. I see. Banks often talk about um, a customer centric approach mm. and it's a, it's a little bit of a buzz phrase. What would be the, what would be the leading element that would separate you from your other chief competitors in terms of having such a customer-centric approach? What differentiates you? Well, I think everyone understands <clears throat> the customer's view is very important. I think it's sometimes in large organizations, whether it's a bank or any other industry, it's, it's hard to actually do that. We put a lot of thought into it and, and um, we've, um, you know, apart from using our own experiences, you know, is this a product that I would like to use as an individual? We've also solicited a lot of feedback from customers and non-customers. We've done a lot of research. We've um, observed people using our products with video cameras and, um, you know, and it's bringing all of those elements together <clears throat> into a design that, you know, we ask ourselves, is this a product that I would use? Is this a product that addresses what the customer wants? And we've been guided by a couple of very simple mantras. Um, which are part of our brand promise, you know, to make banking simpler, to make it more people-shaped. And um, while they're very simple statements, if you keep repeating them and, and ask yourself at every stage in the design and execution, is this really simple? Is there something I could do to make it simpler? Um, and is it really people-shaped as opposed to being bank-shaped? Because we have a, a history in our industry of doing things our way and not the customer's way. And I think those two things as well are very important. I assume that treating yourselves as customers, because of course you're banking customers as well as banking professionals, mm -hmm. it, it helps, helps in reaching that end. I think it does, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's we, we've got to eat what we grow and, and um, <laughs> you know, I, I, you know it's, I think it's fair to say we're, we're reasonably enthusiastic, if not fanatical, about what we've done with Go Money and um, we're very pleased with the feedback um, that we've gotten from customers. And that's the other piece to this is, listening to the customer <clears throat> and listening to their feedback and incorporating that into our plans as we go forward. Fabulous. It doesn't stop here. Now the award was for innovation in mobile banking, it was for ANZ Go Money. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly uh, focusing on mobile banking, why do you think ANZ is such a leader in this particular field? Well, I think it links back to the first question around customer centricity. Um, and um, But then <clears throat> It's a little bit more than that. We've set up a process which is, on the one hand, creative, you know, observing customers, um, uh, looking at some of the softer issues around how people want to use their money on a day-to-day -day basis, um, and couple that with some rigor in terms of a process where we design on an iterative, iterative basis, test our concepts with customers, test them with ourselves, and uh, we've got some pretty hard um, requirements before we go to the next stage and ultimately deliver something to the market. So I think it's it's a combination of a, a creative process which is kind of like art and then a, a rigorous process which is more science. Which is more than science, a mix of art and science. Mm. If you could name, sometimes a difficult question to answer, but if you could name one chief differentiator <coughs> between ANZ Go Money and your competitors, your equivalent competitors products or your near equivalent competitors products, what would that chief differentiator be? Well, I, I mean, I think apart from the, you know, the comments I've already made around how we design and, and so on, I think there's some clear differentiators right now. One is that this is a custom-built application from the ground up. It's not, <clears throat> a lot of banks 
not just our competitors but around the world will, will take their internet banking platform and repurpose those pages for a mobile device and, and that works <clears throat> but it doesn't work as well as if you actually build something from scratch and we built this from scratch it, 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 it talks directly to our core banking systems and, and provides a very um, intuitive response that you're not in a browser um, we can maximize the capabilities of this particular device, in this case the iPhone, for touching and rotating and so on. Um, so I think that's the first uh, differentiator. It also makes a difference in terms of performance and speed as well because you're not loading a lot of graphics over the, over the, the wireless connection. It's, it's all local on the phone. And, uh, <clears throat> so that's one. I think the second is, and this is very simple but powerful, the notion of getting into your, your banking on your mobile device with just a four-digit PIN. You know, this is an, an old um, metaphor. You know, we've been using ATM cards for decades. You put the card in and you punch a four-digit PIN. And in this case, you have your iPhone, your phone, which is now a registered device. We know the, the, the number of your phone. And, and once you've gone through the registration process, thereafter, it's a four-digit PIN to get in. <clears throat> and that means that you, can, you don't have to type a username. It means that you can bank with one hand on GoMoney versus two on most other products because you've got a type. Whereas with, <clears throat> with GoMoney, you just type a pin with your thumb and you're in. Um, so I think that's, that's quite significant. Um, thirdly, we wanted to do something that was really people-shaped. And we wanted to give people the ability to personalize their accounts. And so we've done that just by taking the, the photographic capabilities within the phone, enable people to pick photos either from some stock photos that we've provided, or maybe a family photo or a photo of a house. It could be something aspirational. You could have a savings account for a, a nice house or a car. Well, take a photograph of it and attach it to that account, and you'll see that when you're going through your accounts on your phone. That's a, that's a nice touch, you know. Um, and I think lastly, around you know, enabling people to spend their money in, in simpler ways and to send money in simpler ways. So we've implemented a pay anyone feature, which means you can send money to anyone in the country, whether they bank with ANZ or not. And that's very powerful. You can literally send someone, all you need is their mobile phone number to send the money and enable them to collect it securely. I'm interested in what <coughs> you say about with, with, with your second chief differentiator, mm. which was the, the ease of using the, the product. So mm -hmm. you can basically do your mobile banking with one hand, type yeah. in with your thumb. I guess that you had to, to find the very, very thin balance between the security expectations of your customers mm -hmm. and their want for ease yeah. of use. Did, was that a challenge for you to find, to be able to satisfy their security concerns, but also to not have something that was so onerous that they thought, this is difficult to use and I can't do this with one hand or right. my thumb? Right. Yeah, it's a very good question. I mean, it's a hard line to walk and, and you know, we're, like, like many banks, we're very careful and cautious about anything that might compromise the security of our customers' you know, accounts. Um, so, you know, the, there, there are a number of mitigating factors um, that we've employed to ensure the security of the, of the client's access. One is that the phone is a registered device. They pre-register with us. So when they first register, they have to provide more information, more credentials. And you know, if that phone was stolen, they can just ring our call center and we'll disable it immediately. Um, secondly, we store no sensitive data on the phone. Um, so even if it was stolen, um, th there's, 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 there's a low risk there. Um, and, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a fine line. I mean, if you go too far, if you make it too hard, then either the customer won't use it or worse, they'll start writing passwords and things down and that, that compromises the whole approach to security anyway. So we think we've got the right mix here. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, people, people got used to the security risk with losing your ATM card. Yeah. And now this is, if you lose your phone, it's slightly more secure even yeah. than losing your ATM card. So yeah. I, I, I would imagine that people um, came to terms with the security risk, which does sound low. Yeah. yeah. No, I and, and I would add one other thing, and we, we, we looked at this very carefully, and we took a decision to, to guarantee the security of this platform to our customers in the same way that we do credit and, and online. So if a customer is, and we haven't had a, a case of fraud yet, um, um, we, will, we, will, um, we will guarantee them against it's fantastic against fraud, news yeah. that you haven't had a case of fraud, and I, I would assume that that's been factored into you winning the award. Just a final question, fellow Ian. Thanks again for your time. What does the future hold now for ANZ Mobile, for the ANZ Mobile banking platform? What is customer feedback suggesting should be the next big step? Um, well, I mean, we're we're certainly not 
sitting still. Um, we're listening very carefully to our customers. Um, we have a long list of things that we'd like to explore and do in this space. Um, and, you know, our philosophy is, you know, really not to talk in detail about what we're going to do. I think a lot of people might guess. Um, there's certainly a lot of very direct feedback, uh, very positive feedback, but also requests for specific features from our customers, for example, on the App Store, on, on iTunes. Um, we're paying a lot of attention to that. Um, our immediate plans are to roll out Go Money in New Zealand very shortly. That's, that's public information. And, um, you know, uh, our intention is to bring this to the entire organization. So, watch the space. Fabulous. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm here with Mr. Fellamy Green, who's Head of Innovation Pipeline at ANZ Bank. Fellamy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Pleasure talking. Thank you.